In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your rear ABS sensor. This is what it looks like, and it sits right there on top of your rear differential. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is unplug the old one. Sometimes you might need some pliers to do this just because the connection gets very stuck over time with sand and debris getting in here. I think I got it. Yep. Definitely clean out that connector. And now all we have to do is unbolt it. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right at the top there. You can see it right here. And after that, it should slide right out. I actually grabbed a 3 8 socket instead because it fits better. Okay, get this out of here. Probably not able to do it by hand, but if I grab some pliers, I should be able to give this a couple twists and pop it out. To help it along, I'm gonna spray it with some rust penetrant. Gently grab it with pliers. Try to wiggle it back and forth. Um, try not to break it, obviously. If you break it, you'll have a more difficult time taking it out. Oh, I just saw it move. That's exactly what you want. You want it to move back and forth. That means it broke free. So I think what I wanna do now is grab a little pry bar or screwdriver to stick it in here and pry up as I spin. Usually that helps bring the uh, sensor up. I'm gonna take a screwdriver, try to stick it down here, pry it up. And there it is. Try not to get debris into this hole. So what I'm gonna do is actually press it back down, clean the debris around it, pull it up. There it is. It might help to put a little bit of grease on the new sensor. You can use silicone paste, whatever you have, maybe even some uh, engine oil or gear oil, just to lubricate the surface, not only to make it slide in easier, but also to prevent it from being stuck on there in the future. Now gently press it down, give it a couple, couple twists. You wanna seat that O-ring in. If it's not seated, it's not sealed up. And try to avoid pressing it down by bolting it up because a lot of times this will actually bend it that way, snap the ear off, and then you're in more trouble. Well, I think I pressed it down as far as it's gonna go. Take the bolt, thread it in, and we'll bottom it out, make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, right there. Don't make it too tight, you don't wanna break it in there. And then take your connector, go ahead and plug it in, make sure it clicks. There you go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.